Hello, hello. So I'm really hoping that this is not blurry because I really can't tell. But we're just gonna pray that it's not and just keep going. keep looking over here um my baby's over here my notes are over here so i apologize in advance but um i want to share some resources with some new mothers um who are just having babies who might be breastfeeding who are dealing with postpartum care and um just might need some helpful tips and tricks or want to know how i coped with having a baby because I wish that I would have known certain things that I know now or certain tricks that I might know now. So yeah, let's get started. Wait, say hi my baby. Cutest. Oh, my baby. Hi oh, man. He is not amused. Hi, say hi. He's so cute. I want to give him a kiss but I don't want to give him a kiss with my lip liner and Vaseline. So cute. Alright, he's about to cut up, so I'm going to put him back. And he's in this boppy right here. Which he can finally fit because he is three months now. I mean, he's starting to sit up. Well, sit up with support. So, well, when I had my baby, his name is Aaron Ari. He's a junior, but we call him Ari. Okay, I think he's about to cut up, so I might have to um, make him make his exit. But he's okay for now, so let's see what happens. Please don't cut up on me. Okay, so um, the first thing that I want to talk about is um, the reality of it all. Um, after I gave birth, I was in the hospital for about... A week after um, I had a really hard birth um, it was very difficult I didn't have a c-section but my recovery was similar to a c-section my recovery was like a c-section because I basically healed after eight weeks I mean I'm still not done healing I'm still healing right now but um, it was definitely very rough so with that being said my postpartum care was um, I had to alter it a little bit when I came home. So when I first came home, I actually had a different, this is the Halo bassinet, but I had a different um, bassinet. It was just like um, one of those bassinets from Target, the Ingenuity, Ingenuity bassinet. Um, and so where my bed is, like let's say this was my bed, um, the bassinet was equal, with level with the bed. So it was lower than the bed. So when I was getting up at night, I was just in a lot of pain um, because I was having to bend over and I really couldn't bend over. Um, and it just put a lot of pressure on my back and a lot of um, pain in my stomach um, increased just because it was just too harsh on me. So then I had to like make a change and that's when I got this Halo bassinet, which I highly recommend for, you know, um, those who, everyone has pain, but if you had, um, I guess you don't really know, but I kind of knew after I was giving birth and during my birth that mine was a little bit different than most people's stories. Um, I'm not gonna get into it right now because it's a long story, but it was um, pretty traumatic. And um, this was like a lifesaver to me um, because, you know, I'd be laying down and all I had to do was roll over, push this down, like my arms will push it down and I grabbed the baby and that was that. So that was 100% when I switched on my bassinets. I was like, I need this. Every mother needs this. They need to know if you're going to, if you're like, oh, like this is pretty expensive. I got the basic model. So I think it was like, I'm 180, but I know that these can be like 300, $400, but this is just the basic where you can just like slide it out. Um, so if you see it's on my bed. So literally, me and the baby could be sleeping face to face. But um, if I didn't want him like close, I could just slide it out. Now look, he's off the bed. Or 
I just slide back in. So, extremely helpful. Um, especially when you don't want to get up in the middle of the night. You have to get up. Um, but if you don't want to actually, like, get up, walk around, it's really helpful. Um... <coughs> I'll start. And then inside of this, another um, essential for me personally was this Bobby, this newborn lounger. He's three months now, so we're transitioning to the one that I showed you guys earlier. But this newborn lounger it was so helpful because you know you're obviously trying to do stuff, um, you're trying to grab diapers, trying to grab Vaseline, whatever. You just pop in the newborn lounger and walk around when they're new when they're newborns they're not really moving um so that was really helpful I just kept them together um at first i was really really tired after i had him um and it was really hard because i was trying to you know get him to latch um i'm breastfeeding now but it was really hard teaching him how to latch at first no no no, no. sorry i'm getting his grandmother he's gotta go with you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, see first I'm one, sorry. He's so big. I'm sorry. Like he is three he's months. Look how big he is. Look how big he is. He's just crying because he's hungry. He eats all the time. See ya. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. See ya. Peace. A time. Okay, we're back. He's gone because he was about to cut up and I just didn't have time for it. Like, we would have never finished the video. I stayed with my mom for the first, I mean, I stayed with her for like the first two months. He's only three months. And then I like, I'm still back and forth, but I made my transition like to my boyfriend's house. Um, but if you can stay um, with someone, if you can stay with your mother, or, I don't know, you need support. So if you could stay with someone who's going to help you even besides the father because you guys are both going to be so tired, that will be um, really helpful. So we both stayed here, like me and my baby's father. Um, we stayed with my mom. And she really helped us. Like, she was cooking for us, helping us with the baby. Like, I'd be like, I'm so tired. Can you please take the baby? Please. And so she would like take the baby sometimes, want us to get some sleep. Um, so that was like really, really helpful. Um, really appreciated that. Um, so, and it was just like really hard because, um, you know, I was trying to teach him how to breastfeed and he was latching, like he, he wasn't latching. Um, so it was really tough. thing that really helped me was a wipe warmer. I have, right next to my bed, I have, um, a station for basically for necessity so I kept my pump I kept my white warmer I kept my bottle warmer on one one nightstand and on my other nightstand I kind of kept the bottles it the white warmer was an essential for me because he did not like cold wipes so that was a good investment it was only like $20 um, and then besides that white warmer I also didn't know until I had a baby that my baby would need kind of like rash cream so I was using a and ointment or Vaseline I put everything on the side of my bed um so I put everything on my nightstand and then on the inside of my nightstand I would keep like my medicine um so like ibuprofen iron um because I'm breastfeeding again I'm nursing so that was really important I could just roll over open it and just pop it myself I used this app a lot it really helped me it was called Huckleberry um it was great. Um, it helped me put me on a pumping schedule. I was pumping every two hours because I had oversupply at first. So I had to pump or else like I was getting um, engorged. It was so painful. It hurt so bad. So I was on a strict schedule. I was pumping every two hours. So I was keeping pump accessories. So I had my actual pump and then I would also keep like um, um, I was using Medela. I have a Medela pump. And I was keeping like um, the the pump accessories like to actually pump. I was keeping clean accessories so I could just wake up in the middle of the night, pop it on, and then go back to sleep. 
wake up two hours later, pop them on, go back to sleep. It was just really helpful for me. Um, so what I was doing was I was putting clean accessories on the side, um, connecting them and I would pump and then I would just like throw them in a bucket. Um, so kind of like, or like throw them in a bucket, um, my dirty accessories and keep my clean accessories on a towel. And so I would just keep doing that like clockwork because it was hard. You know, you have to wash, sanitize, you have to wash and sterilize. And so I'd wash everything and sterilize before I went to bed. Um, and then, so I could just grab them and go. Um, grab them and pump, basically. And then, um, because I wasn't, because breastfeeding wasn't established for me, I was trying to do both. I was trying to breastfeed, feed and pump at the same time. And he was, he was breastfeeding at the time, but he was also mainly taking bottles so I would like try to breastfeed and then maybe for like five minutes just to like get him familiar with my chest and then I was giving him a bottle I had this I'm just gonna grab it so I had this bottle warmer um, and inside of it it has two cold packs so It was hard because I had to make sure my cold packs um, were frozen because you put the frozen cold packs in there at night and then you can put water, you can put your bottles um, in there. And then it has a little remote. Uh, don't know what the remote is, but it has a remote and you can use it. Um, basically just wake up, turn the remote on and then it'll automatically start warming the bottle up. That was really helpful for me. Um, definitely recommend making your bottles before you go to sleep because it's three, six, four in the morning and you're uh, making bottles, breastfeeding, pumping, like it's just a lot. So definitely save yourself some time. Um, make your bottles before you go to sleep. And if you can get, it's the first year's um, bottle warmer. So if you get a bottle warmer like that where it can keep yourself cold and then you can just automatically press the button where it starts warming up, that'd be great. I'm not sure. And then I didn't have a mini fridge, but if you could have a mini fridge, I definitely I think that would have helped a lot too because you're getting on walking to the kitchen you're already tired it'd just be easy to wake up grab some bottles already made you know because it only fits one bottle um, so I still had to go to the refrigerator and grab the bottle and put it in the pump but if I had a mini fridge in here I could just keep swapping them out but I mean it was all good um, so yeah, definitely recommend a bottle warmer. Um, and he liked Avent, Avent, not sure how to say it. Um, those bottles that had the, um, oh, it was anti-colic, um, anti-colic bottles. So it was really helpful, um, too. I like those too. Now he just likes to breastfeed. He just likes me, which, I don't know, it's hard because... Sometimes mama has places to be. But, um, yeah, at first that's what we were doing. Um, now we don't really use bottles unless someone is watching him. But just make sure you have enough bottles um, and you have basically extra bottles and extra pump accessories um, to the point where you can, like, prepare three bottles or four bottles for the nighttime and also have, like, four sets of um, pump accessories, um on the side you can just do that and not worry about you know going back and forth washing and sterilizing the same um set of pumping accessories um i actually went and purchased more because it was just too much um trying to wash and sterilize everything the other thing that was pretty helpful for me was this i saw this from the hospital um, just this little tub, I would, I didn't want to, he was just so little, I mean, he was born 8 pounds, almost 11 ounces, but I just didn't want to put him in an actual bathtub, um, like the baby baths, we have a lot of them, but I just didn't want to put him in there yet, so I used this, um, just like some warm water, and I would use, um, you know, the Shea Moisture, um, washing shampoo, um, and I would just kind of give him like a wash down, like I would use, first I'd use water and then I would use soap. Um, then I would give him suds, then I'd go back and use water. But that was um, pretty helpful for me. Um, 
I just lay him on a towel and give him a quick bath and put some lotion on him. I just don't want to put him in a bathtub yet. It just seemed like too grown for him at the moment. Um, I'd say a humidifier was really important. Um, you know, I had him in the middle of winter. He was born in December. And humidifier was really important because, you know, you're getting sick. Um, it just helped. It, helped. it was really helpful. So I tried to keep that on every night. Another thing that really, like, I think this probably... After I got it, I didn't get it for a second. Maybe I didn't get it for the first month, maybe a month and a half. Um, I think a month, though, because I could not sleep. Like, I was just always up rolling over, checking on him. Like, is he okay? Is he breathing? Like, what's going on? Like, what? Like, is he all right? Like, does he need anything? I got this. It is called, it's the Owlet. Yeah, it's the outlet. So basically, it is a heart and oxygen monitor, and this literally saved my saved my sleeping life. Um, after I got it, I was just like, oh, I'm going to sleep now. Basically, it's a little sock you put on you put on the baby. Um, so basically, it monitors his um, heart and oxygen levels, and it'll basically go off um, if his oxygen gets low or his, you know, if there's anything funny going on, it'll just go off um, pretty immediately. Um, so that really, really helps me because it helped me sleep at night knowing like, okay, like he has this monitor on and even if the monitor is um, maybe like the sock is on the wrong way, um, it'll start ringing, it'll alarm you too. Like we can't get a proper reading, um, so that was so helpful it's extremely helpful and then um i think you guys saw my little preview but the diaper genie it saved me too because we had so many diapers now he's pooping way less pooping peeing and using the bathroom a lot less but the diaper genie it was like because we we're changing diapers like back and back and back and back and back like back and forth so we're just changing the diapers putting in the diaper genie mean putting it in the diaper genie I promise you I cannot smell anything so loved it um it was great um yeah so these are the tips and tricks that helped me um also I did not have um I really want a changing table and I basically everything that we're using we are gifted um at our baby shower um thank you lord um so I did not um, get a changing table and I really wanted one because as soon as I got home I quickly realized like I was in too much pain to be bending on my bed um, so it was really hard and then I realized I didn't have stuff to store anything um, so like his diapers his you know like his AMD ointment um, once we got this once we got this um Halo, it actually has a pocket on the side where you can store diapers, Vaseline, and things like that. Um, but I mean, it can only hold just a little bit. It's a small pocket, so you can put like maybe six diapers in there and like a little A and D. Um, but I, we have a lot of supplies, and I was like, I need some more stuff. So I actually used like one of my bathroom ladders, um, organizer ladders, and I just put everything in that. So it's really helpful. I could just grab everything and help clear my mind because it was more um, organized. So that was really helpful. Um, another thing that was extremely helpful for me was getting the baby a dresser. And now I have obviously a bedside nursery. Him having his own dresser was great. Um, all his clothes go in there. Um, I organized it by size. It was a good time. What I also realized is that yes, he has a dresser. All his clean clothes are all of his clean clothes are in there. But where am I supposed to put his dirty clothes? They're just piling up. So that's when I had to go get um a hamper. Um, just makes sense. You need a hamper. I didn't want his stuff touching the floor. Um, so I got the hamper and all of his dirty clothes go in there. It it really these this is like little stuff and it might seem like common sense but this stuff like really helped me and really gave me a clear mind you know once you give birth you're kind of like everywhere you're exhausted you don't know what's going on so just like little stuff really does make a difference um so this is my bedside nursery and these are the tips and tricks that i 
I have um, that I use with my baby um, that really helped me out and that I wish maybe, you know, I could have known before. Um, but we don't know. So, so catch me in my next video. And thank you guys so, so much for watching my video about helping new mothers. Um, and I hope that in some way I could have helped you out. So, thank you guys. Get your little fingers on my video.